One challenge improvisers have is talking too much. You get in a scene and they just start rambling on, whereas having some action and movement can really make things interesting. So Fred and I are going to act out a scene uh, called one word scenes, or one word sentences. Which all that means is we're going to have a normal scene, but we can only speak one word at a time. So I can only say one word, and then I have to wait for Fred to contribute something back with one word, and so we go back. And, and in forth. a situation like this, with just one word to use, the physicality becomes important because you only have one piece of verbiage in every time you have a shot. Exactly. So, uh, Fred, uh, you have an idea of where uh, we can put this scene at? We'll be doing this scene on a golf course. On a golf course. <clears throat> Here we go. Damn! That ball shouldn't drop into Caddy. You fired. Never. <clears throat> Manager. <laughs> Talk. Really? Pick up. Now. Okay. So, now you may have been a little bit confused in that scene watching it. As were we. As were we. <laughs> the point here is that this is not generally something you're going to see on stage. This is an exercise. It is incredibly difficult to convey a lot of meaning with just one word. So you saw, not just in some of the motions we did, um, which we're a little constrained just because of space, so we can't run around a whole stage. But also, a great deal in our facials and tonality and a little bit of motion, conveying a lot of information uh, using just one word. Do, whenever I think of this exercise, it reminds me of the things from like Batman, where there would be like, you go, oof, and you'd see the, you know, so you're, you're trying to take one word and create a combination of action, emotion, feeling, and, and the, 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 the depth or the... the the severity of the feeling. Right. And so um, you have to use all those things. And the other thing that, the, in addition to all the nonverbal things, is word choice becomes very important. And if you're using this outside of improv, I think that's important. Sometimes if you have an unlimited number of words, you don't think that much about which words you're using. But this forces you to really think about what you're going to say. And so where can people use this? And how? Well, I think that if, uh, if you do any kind of writing or speaking, this is a real good one to condense your message. You're not going to deliver it like this, but if you had one word or one sentence, how would you deliver it? And what you can then do is you'll know then what the key phrases are, and you'll develop a way of delivering it using your tone to convey your message. And economically. Yeah, exactly.